What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of the jury? My name is Jace Machine, and I am fueled by coffee and driven by insanity. But we're not here to talk about that today. We're here to talk about Avorion. Everyone says it's awesome. Let's find out. We are going to create new name the machine, not the machine galaxy because we're clever um normal difficulty yeah sure this starts a single player server on your computer and connects to it this server is private only you can connect to it and you don't need an internet connection you will not play it online <sighs> all right so let's do that oh, we're gonna allow access my computer wanted to block it And it, is it working? Oh God. What the fuck is going on here? Welcome to Avorion. Do you want to play the tutorial? If not, you can still do this anytime later. Yeah, not nah. Use the mouse to look around in the sector. Oh, I'm a little ship. Okay. I'm a little ship. Is that... What is that? Is that my cannon? My thing? All right, so I've used it. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay. You may have noticed your ship turning around. Your ship will automatically steer into the direction you were looking. Oh, try it out, dog. Oh, look at that. It's steering in the direction that you're looking in. Oh, oh. Don't smash it, Jace. You don't... There's something about collision. Full collision. So you don't want your ship to turn. Hold control while you're looking around. Control. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. You will have to use your mouse to use the UI or select things. Hold left shift to release your mouse pointer and click away this message. You can always end or restart the tutorial with the tutorial button. It's the question mark in the top right corner. That right there. Now the W and S keys fly towards and backwards. Mm -hmm. Your thrusters automatically break when you stop pressing S. So pressing backwards won't make your ship break harder. Okay. Unlike Star Maid. Alright, so for hardcore break, you have to turn your ship around and accelerate or even boost in the opposite direction. This is especially important for larger ships with high mass, okay? This is your velocity display. The first bar is your current velocity. The second bar is the program velocity that your ship will try to fly. Okay. I see, I see. Blue means you're flying in the direction your ship's looking, and orange means you're flying in the opposite direction. That's clever, I suppose. I, I don't know, I'm just trying to, try, try to... Trying to stay conversational, damn it! Mm hmm we can strafe. Use the middle mouse to select this asteroid by clicking on it. Oh, yeah. Now fly to your selected asteroid. Hold space to boost. Okay. Another one like that. Turn around and... Slows down your speed. Okay. We'll just make it... Make it a little bit... A little bit closer here before we smash into it. Is this a big thing? Are we really far away or... Weren't we supposed to be able to zoom in and out? There we are. We can. That's a, that's a nice place. So here we are. Hey, use your mining laser. Mm-hmm. Aim the mouse. Left fire. Left mouse button to fire. Targeting the circles turn green when an object is in reach. As opposed to red when an object is not in reach. Oops. Don't crash into it now. Don't crash into it now! 
Okay, so we're, we're mining stuff. This is very uh, Star Maid esque, but not just Star Maid. A lot of games do the whole mining laser sort of thing. Which I, I thought that was a nice change from that sort of uh, thing with, uh, what was that game we were playing just the other day? That game we were playing just the other day. Interstellar Rift, you know. Uh, yeah, Interstellar Rift teleported the stuff in there. I hadn't gotten far enough to determine if um, if uh, if there was other ways of mining. But uh, wait till it turns green, Jace. Now you can mine. All right, so resources are collected automatically by flying near them. And your collected resources are displayed. So on your top left, when you're building, interacting, when you press I or P, so I, just a toggle, you don't need to keep it, and that shows you what's going on here. Of course, I can't see right here if there's anything because my uh, recording software thing's in the way. Thanks, you're, you're clever. And P, what does P do? He gives me the stats on my little drone. Look at this poor little thing. It's all beat up. Interesting. Okay, cool. I'm digging this game, actually. I like this. Everyone said I would. They'd be, they said, Jace, have you tried this? You really need to. They were right. This is pretty cool. I know I really haven't gotten into it and done much with it, but whatever. This looks like a space station. You guys want to head over there? mouse button that's a uh, that's the NE gate to the translucent serenity too you know takes cash to go through it what else we have a Corvette and, all right so we have some stuff so resources collected we need to skip this bit all, all players start out with a mining drone so they can gather resources even in the unfortunate event of your complete and total annihilation you will always have the drone to start over. Oh, that's cool. Because you are a drone, ladies and gentlemen. You are a drone. That's the message this game's trying to teach you. You're just a drone. You're just a cog in the machine, man. Mine more asteroids until you have 1,000 iron. Asteroids that are rich in resources have bright spots, so look for those. They're bright, and they're shiny. Shine bright like a diamond. All right. We are going to boost over to here. Just hold it down. We stay boosted. I don't want to smash into it. We're going to get... As with most space games, learning what you can do with your thrust and how fast you can come in on things seems to be like a, something that you just have to figure out per game. And with this game, it sounds like it's definitely going to uh, be something that's going to be in effect basically... Because of the, the mass of a ship. Alright, so we, this thing's glowing. We're going to get resources. We're looking for the iron. The little bubbly sounds crack me up. I don't know how I feel about those. Sounds like I'm playing an app on a phone. It's Asteroid Smash. Actually, Astro Smash was an Atari game. Probably a ColecoVision game and maybe an Intellivision game as well. Is this just really, uh, really solid? Hard to get through? Click this button to found a new ship. I'm going to found a new ship. I think I want more resources first. I mean, I'm here, right? So we're going to keep doing that. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes. Don't let anyone else have it. This is mine. All mine! And then he smashed into it and was destroyed utterly. He learned his lesson with the penalty of death that day. Okay, so just about done here. Just about done. Click this button to found a new ship. What button? This button? Enter the name of your new ship. Okay. USS Algernon. I don't know if I spelled that right, but I don't care. Enter building mode, okay? I'm, I'm following. We're going to click that button. Building mode. Welcome to building mode here. You can build, modify, and arm your ships. Hold right mouse and move the mouse to look around. Um, 
my goodness! Oh! This is the overview over your ship properties. Yellow states may cause con inconveniences. Red states are bad and may cause problems. That's, uh, that's smart. That's smart. Over here, these are your tools for shipbuilding. Mirroring, coloring, snapping blocks to grid, merging and deleting blocks. Okay. Continue. With this button, you can open the entire building inventory. Uh huh. And then this is the default ship block. Average price, average durability with no special abilities. Okay, so we have engines. We have cargo bay, crew quarters. Oh, this is weird. It's interesting, but kind of weird. Directional thruster. Iron. Oh, I don't even know what some of this is. I don't... I don't even know. All right, so this is the engine block. Engines give your ship better acceleration and max velocity when placing an engine. Turn your camera to see where it's facing. That's, uh, that's a good advice. This is a directional sort of game with the thrust, I suppose. Just like Imperion. This is the crew quarters block. Is that how Imperion works? Hmm. I'm second guessing myself now. It doesn't matter. This is the crew quarters block. And your ship needs crew. And your crew needs a living space. For God's sakes, your crew needs a living space. Will you please give them some quarters so they could play arcade games? Mom, can I have some quarters? Uh, more crewmen can work on your ship. Yeah, no kidding. This is the thruster block. Thrusters increase rotational speed depending on their position. They break your ship. I don't want anything to break my ship. Boop, 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 boop. So you can change the shape. Change the size of your current block. Hold ASDW and move the mouse to scale it in a different direction. Okay. Okay, I see, I see, and it tells you how much money it's going to cost. That's ridiculous. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Can I scale it that way? Hmm. Okay. Interesting. And then pressing... You can delete blocks and turrets by selecting them. And then pressing delete. How do you select them? Middle mouse button, Jace. Weren't you just reading? All right. So what's the delete button? That's not the del that's not the delete button, Jace. Is there even a is there a button that says delete? Are you just assuming that the opposite button is? You know you are. You magnificent magnificent bastard. But where's the delete button? Oh, the one that says delete on it, Jace. You are a clever boy. Mm-hmm. All right, so which is the front and which is the back of the ship? Ah, the large green arrow says this is the front. Okay, so build an engine so it can fly forward. Build an engine. Iron engine. Put the engine here. And we'll put another engine here. Why not? Okay, use engine, thruster, and hull blocks and extend your ship. Build thrusters to make sure it can break and turn in each direction. Each direction, man. Oh, can't believe you want me to make thrusters. Okay, so we're going to do... Um, can you rotate them? Can you rotate-o? How do you rotate something? That isn't it. That isn't it either. This is an undo button. This is a redo button. Merge selected blocks. We're in safe mode. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Dad. Safe mode won't let you delete more than the selected blocks uh, or your ship. Well, that's that's very good. All right. So let's put some cargo bay and then crew quarters. So we're gonna put a crew quarters on the back of the ship here. That is not really what I'm trying to do, but let's just do it the lazy way. The lazy way? Yeah, the bad way? See? You got crew quarters, dog, and then you can also WASD those by zooming them out by one. Hold on. Like that. And then... Oh. My. 
that's not bad at all. Okay. So we drop that in place, and now we have uh, crew quarters. So the next thing is we need a little bit of cargo. Has, has the cargo been selected? It has, Jace, you silly. And okay, we're going to put that... Oh, what was that? Did you see that blue thing? I don't know what it was, man, but it was freaking me out. Oh, dang, that's a huge engine. That's a huge engine. All right, well, let's not make it that huge. It's freaking me out, man. And we'll put those guys here and here. And then... We'll put side adjusting ones. How do you make them go? Is it a matter of... It said turn your camera to see where they're facing? Hmm. The transform block tool. Transform into engine. Okay. So that'll change things into something else. You can merge selected blocks. Iron framework. A gyro array. What does that do? It increases rotational speed. These are the directional thrusters, Jace. Iron thruster. And then iron directional thruster. Okay. So... Mm, you could put them anywhere, I suppose, right? They work best when away from your center of mass. So I'll put them there. And I'll put one here. Okay. So we can get out of build mode by hitting B. B. Are we out of... No. We're, are we trapped in build mode? Use engine thruster and hull blocks to extend your ship. Build thrusters to make sure it can break and turn in every direction. I thought I just did that, but let's let's make sure that we're we're good here. We're we're all good. We're fine. And iron gyro away uh, away gyros away. I um, need to make it smaller. We need to make it's smaller because I don't know I don't know what I'm doing but I know that I'm I don't know what I'm doing and doesn't that make me know more than some people this is a weird little ship I like it but it's a weird little ship man uh, iron and inertia dampener sub oh of course you need the artificial subspace friction oh I know what this does this will slow you down. This helps to slow you down. And uh, that's a good thing. So we'll put a bunch of them on there. And then I'm going to put this on the front. Because grids are sexy. I like my gridded frameworks. They make me excite. And we'll put one over here. And over here. No, Chase. You're being naughty. Does it not want him? Whatever. Hey, whatever. What else do we got in this mess up here? Iron glow corner. Ooh, I really needed one of those. Different corners. We can make them less blocky, obviously. Uh, rotation. Iron turret. Rotation. Iron dock. Docking possibility. Iron light. Okay, so the ship's ready. Once you're done building, exit the building mode to continue. So press B or escape to exit. I have exited. And now you can change back to your drone at any time. Am I stuck on my drone here? I don't even know what's happening. But let's continue. To change back to your drone, press T when no target is selected. Okay, fair enough. T. Your drone could connect, collect resources, or do hyperspace jumps like a ship. Use it for scouting or collecting resources when your main ship is too badly damaged. Okay, now return to your ship. Fly near your ship, select it, and press T to enter. Where 
am I? I'm confused. T or F to enter. Am I close? Why can't I see who I am? Oh, holy crap. I'm this tiny little thing. Oh my goodness, sorry. Didn't realize I was this little, little guy here. T or F to enter. Fly near your... I need to select it first. Now I can enter. Awesome. Since every ship has a different shape, you might have to reposition your camera. Hold left alt to move the mouse up, down, left, and right to adjust the camera. Um, okay. Left, alt, left. And mouse up or down, left or right. You know, I... I don't know that it's necessarily bad. I think this is okay. I guess this is cool. Great, in order to move the camera on the other axis, release left alt and then hold it again. Oh, okay. So it adjusts kinda. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gotcha. I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right. I'm not allowed to say that anymore this episode. You can also reset the camera to its three. Okay, so don't move it, and it'll go back to its normal thing. Okay, left alt. Now adjust your tank camera until you're happy with it. Feel free to zoom in and out and check how it feels. You feel free to check out how it feels. Tell me what to do. Your ship needs a crew. You can hire a crew at nearly every station. Fly to the highlighted dock at the nearby station. If your ship is slow, it's because you don't have engineers yet, bitch. So that's why we're going to, you know, go pick that thing up and do that other thing with that thing. Hey, where is the station at? We spawned above it. It should be huge and in our face. There it is. Has it been selected? Yeah. Do we have a dock? We might have to add a dock. If your ship's slow, it might be because your ship sucks. It's not too bad. I say as it, it crashes. Fly to the highlighted dock at the nearby station if your ship is slow. Okay, so we're going to go closely. Closer. 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 Closely. And then try not to smash into it, I suppose. Mm -hmm. We are flying to the highlighted dock. Press F. To dock. Now you are talking to the automated interaction system of the resource dock. I can't pronounce that. Usaluria. What can we do for you? Well, I'd like to hire um, crew. Really? Yeah? That's amazing. What do you need? We need 11 mechanics, 7 gunners. That's how many they got, right? We can fill 38 crewmen? How is this working now? Hire one vanilla crewman that can be assigned to any position. So, one... one and then click to hire now close the window okay open the ship menu ship menu right there crew you oversee your crew in the training when you extend your ship you'll need more cr different crewmen so you gotta get assigned one more mechanic Okay, we need a mechanic. Okay, so let's go back here. F to dock. Hire crew. One mechanic. Come on, no, not two. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. We are paying for one. Okay. Uh-huh, higher than the station. I'm following you. Looks like we're good to go. Close the window once you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. I am so ready. Okay, so we're now able to explore the galaxy, and so are you. So, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, 
what do you think of Avorion? Do you want to keep watching it? Let me know in the comments section be below what is your verdict after all. And uh, if you want to see more, of course, you can uh, just let me know by a like button if you don't feel like writing a full comment. But ladies and gentlemen and jury, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this game. If this is something you're interested in seeing more of, I will uh, play a few more episodes and you can make up your mind then. Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time.